In this video, I'm going to show you how to go through lesson two in the Tinkercad basic skills set. If uh, So you click on lesson two is the camera controls. This teaches you how to navigate by viewing around the screen in Tinkercad. So I click on the camera controls uh, picture right there, and it should load up the camera controls window. Once the window is loaded up, you can look on the left-hand side to see the different uh, instructions. It says that in this lesson, you will learn how to check out your designs by changing your view of the model using the view cube. And you just continue by pressing the next button. While creating designs, it helps to be able to see your design from all sides. This is very important in 3D printing. It says that you can rotate your view to see who's behind the curtain. The view cube, located at the top left of Tinkercad, will help you looking around. I'm going to click, and if you scroll down, it says the instruction says just drag anywhere in the view cube, and you'll see how it changes the point of view. And it shows you a picture of the view cube. The view cube in your editing window is going to be this cube on the top left corner. And so I can just click my mouse on it and drag it around. And so I see somebody hiding behind there. He looks very familiar. It says try, try pressing the top corner. So I can click on the top or I can click on any of the sides and it will show me from different points of view or I can click and drag and see it from any point of view that I want. So let's continue to the next step. From time to time it helps take a closer look at your design. It says if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, use it for zooming in and out. And so I do have a mouse here with a scroll wheel and I can scroll in to zoom in, scroll back to zoom out. And so I can zoom in and zoom out. If you have a touchpad, you will zoom using the gesture that you normally use in other app apps. Uh, so it'll be the two finger gesture to zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to click next. So now you've seen how to rotate using the view cube. This time to try using only your mouse or the touchpad. And this is actually the feature I use the most. Press and hold the right mouse button while moving your mouse to practice rotating the view. So instead of using the view cube to, move, to rotate your screen around, I'm going to use my right mouse button. So if I right click, I can drag around the view with just my right mouse button. And so if you want to use your touchpad, you can either press control and left click when you drag. So I'm going to hold on the control key and a left click or simply right click and drag if you have a touchpad for accepting right clicks. And when I click next, I get the stars. Yay, I finished this lesson. So don't forget it says you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Press and hold the right mouse button to rotate around uh, the screen. There's also a zoom feature doesn't mention on here on the left hand underneath the view cube. Uh, there is a zoom in with a plus and a minus. There's uh, a home button. It'll get you back to the original when you first started uh, the, the program. So these buttons can be useful in some cases. And that's how you rotate around and view uh, various uh, shapes. Uh, something else that's not mentioned on, in this tutorial right here is uh, sometimes if I zoom in and I want to see something at a different angle, zooming in and I won't be able to see his face from uh, this angle. But if I hold the shift button in and then use the right mouse button, it'll allow me to pan while I uh, zoom. And another handy feature is you can zoom in, you can look through things sometimes. So you don't, you know, even though it's, uh, if I zoom out just a little bit, or in behind the wall, zoom in a little bit, I'm on the other side of the wall. So you can kind of go through uh, various things. And a little joke right here, there's Elvis leaving the building. <laughs>